Hi everyone, as you can see, this application allows me to transfer my WhatsApp data between iOS and Android devices. It's very easy and I'll show you in today's video how to transfer WhatsApp between iOS and Android. It works both ways as well. Alright guys, so uh, before we head into the tutorial, I just wanted to kindly give you a disclaimer to do this at your own risk. Make sure to do a backup of your phone in case you don't lose any data. With that being said, I also wanted to kindly remind you guys to subscribe to the channel because based on my analytics on YouTube, it shows me that only 4% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So. Let's go into the tutorial and I'll show you everything step by step. I'll show you everything you need to do. Now this application is available on both Mac and Windows. I'll show you how to install this program on both software or both operation systems. So just uh, have some patience and just follow my lead. So we're going to download the application for Mac uh, in the beginning and then I'll switch to Windows. As you can see, the application gives you uh, the opportunity to transfer data between uh, WhatsApp on Android and iOS, also other applications like Viber, Line, and other social media apps. Uh, it allows you to back up the WhatsApp data on your computer and then restore it to any other uh, OS like Android or iOS, uh, the one you want. So you easily just click on free download and wait for the application to start downloading. Once the download for the application is finished, all you need to do is just open the file and uh, easily on Mac, all you need to do is just drag the app onto your application list like you're seeing in front of you. Now once you do that, it will start copying the file into your application list and once that is over, you can double click on the application and then you will have that app shown to you. So on Mac, it's very straightforward and uh, on Windows, it's just a uh, setup wizard installation process and I'll just show you that in a second. Let's wait for this app to get transferred to our application list. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead to and go to my application list and just open the app that I just copied. So just double click on it and then click on open and you will see the application interface in front of you like you're seeing now. Now once that's done, I'm going to switch to my windows, obviously. I'm going to go to the link in the description and I'm going to click on free download. Now the website is the same, uh, the program is the same as well. It's the same interface, it's just, uh, you know, in case you're running on windows, you easily just click on download and you'll wait for the application to start downloading. And once that's done, just reopen it, uh, click on yes and go through the setup wizard by clicking on next and click on install and wait for the application to start installing. Now if you don't have Windows, uh, if you don't have iTunes on your Windows operation system, this application will automatically install the drivers that are necessary for your iDevice. Uh, just a friendly reminder, it will be great if you guys subscribe to the channel, it will mean a lot to me. Now the app is almost installed, uh, I'm going to click on start and once the application boots, if you don't have iTunes installed, this app will automatically install the drivers that are necessary for your phones to be uh, read readable by the laptop or the computer that you're using. So now it's installing the drivers. Once the installation is finished, the application will automatically open and you will see the same interface that you saw on my Mac. So all of these applications are uh, available for us to transfer data from and to Android or iOS. Uh, you can back up the data that you have and that's it. So I'll show you how you can uh, easily transfer data between iPhones and Android devices. It's uh, completely straightforward. Uh, on iOS, all you need to do is connect your iPhone to your computer and click on trust or tap on trust. But on Android, you need to go to your developer options. You have to turn on USB debugging and then connect that phone into the computer and your application or computer will recognize it. Once the phones are both connected, you will see them uh, in an interface and you can transfer uh, the data onto your computer by backing up and then restoring it to the other phone that you want. Or you can just easily go to transfer 
and uh, click on the phone that wants that you want to be the destination and uh, then choose the one that you want it to be the source and then the transfer will begin it's as easy as that uh, I don't think there's anything uh, complicated in this tutorial but if there is a question that you might have then make sure to comment below I'll give it my best to reply to every comment that I want uh, so as you can see it's very easy you choose the phone that you want and then you transfer the data from there to the next phone it works vice versa so no matter what phone you have this process will be eligible for you so that's about it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching